So for those of you who know, I've been kind of working on an XJS starter kit. It has a lot of features baked into it, but a lot of people have asked me if I could just provide a Lucia off setup that has login with Google, login with GitHub, a magic link login, and also the ability to manually log in with an email and password like most traditional websites support today. And that is exactly what this video is about. I have a GitHub template, which I'll put in the description below, which you can check out. I've been trying to just basically grab all of the key auth components from the starter kit and I brought it into its own package here so people can use it and kind of understand how I did stuff and use it for themselves if they want to. So just to showcase what this has, it's the most basic app with this type of authentication. So the first thing I can do is I can sign in with Google. Okay, let's just go ahead and pick my email and say continue. And then once you do, notice that it redirects you to a dashboard. You have a dashboard, dashboard page. You can do light mode, you can do dark mode, and then you can go up here and you can sign out. Okay, you successfully signed out. Also, if I try to go back to the dashboard page, I believe it'll throw an error because you don't have access because you're not signed in. Let's try a magic link email. So I'm gonna go ahead and send out that magic link. This is also hooked into resend right now. All right, here we go. We got a email. If I go ahead and click this, that'll load the app with a token. And now I am authenticated with that token. Okay, let's just go ahead and sign out. I'll show you the other features. So signing back in, you can sign in with email over here. All these form inputs have validation. Another thing that's in this template is forgot password. So if I click on this, again, I could just type in my email, send off that reset password email, and then I should get a link here in just a second. All right, here's my reset password link. If I click on this, that takes us to the app. It lets us change our passwords. So let's just change it to uh, something else and click change password. And there we go. My password has been successfully updated and I can now log in with that. Finally, I'm going to go to uh, Drizzle Studio and delete my users and let's just go ahead and create new user. So let's just do the same email because I've already deleted that one. Do a password. We'll do another password. Click register. That'll create an account and sign me in. But it also sends out a confirmation email. So notice I got that verify your email. If I go back to my user and refresh, it says email verified null. And this is useful. You can go through and prune out users that like aren't actually active or never confirmed. Or you could use this to basically prevent certain features of that user until they've actually confirmed their email. Okay, so let's go and um, click on this link here. And now our email has been successfully verified. It says sign in, but I'm already signed in. So um, I might need to actually kind of work on fixing that. But let's go over here and refresh. Notice that it says email verified. That's the timestamp. It says when that email has been verified. Again, that's all I want to share with you all. If you guys want to go check this out, I think it'd be very useful if you haven't seen how to set up a Lucia auth with OAuth providers or email password login, how to set up with emails, etc. I still need to work on this a little bit more and it's open source. So feel free if you run into a bug or you're confused, make a pull request, set up an issue, join my discord, ask me questions. I want this to be as polished as possible so that in the future, if people want to just set up a really quick project that has like the necessary auth uh, features that you might need, that they can kind of grab this. And like I said, I'm open to any collaboration. If there's some other auth things that you want to add in, like the ability to invalidate all user sessions on all devices or something like that's something that you could go and make a pull request for if you want to. Or if you notice that maybe the UX could be improved um, on certain pages or like you want to add a modal capabilities, I'm open to feedback. All right, that's about it. Have a good day. Happy coding.